Eileen and Perry. Red or green? What? Your tie? Do you want a red or green one? Or something that is a bit of both? My dear, I, I don't get why you're fussing over this. Just get me what you want. I know, but it's Christmas party! It doesn't mean I have to wear the theme. We have to match? I already have a red dress. We will look so wonderful. Mom said that I should send her pictures of how we look. Fine, uh, then green. Uh, see you when I get home. Later that evening. I think that I'm gonna head home. Why would you do that? You're the one who insisted on being at my Christmas party. I know, but I feel so out of place. That lady with the blue dress has been giving me attitude. She's my senior. I hope you haven't said anything to her. No, I would not. I just feel like I don't fit in. I think that I'll leave. A couple of minutes later. Why the hell did you embarrass yourself like that? Gosh, you're so embarrassing. Your boss tripped me, and all of your co-workers laughed. And you're blaming me? You didn't even take my side. She was in the wrong and should have apologized instead of blaming me for being clumsy. You should have watched how you spoke to her. No, she's entitled and thinks that what she says goes. I merely disagreed with her on one thing, then she called me stupid. Is this how you guys do things at work? Come on, she was just joking with you. She does that to people when she meets them. It was to introduce you as the wife of one of the employees. It is a stupid tradition. You should also tell her to go easy on those martinis. I never knew that she was so crude. How do you even work with her? No, you will not talk about my boss like that and embarrass me at work. Are you kidding? Honey, your crazy boss tripped me and then she laughed. Everyone else laughed as well. You were being a bit too uptight, and she just wanted to loosen you up. The way you're defending her, one would swear that you have a crush on her. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm gonna head home now. We'll talk about this later, but what happened today was not funny in the slightest. If you say so. A couple of hours later. Eileen and Morgana. My marriage didn't even last a year. It's confirmed that I have a very bad luck when it comes to relationship. What happened? When I went to the Christmas party, Perry's female boss was very standoffish, with me all evening. That is until she thought it would be funny to trip me. When I tried to confront her, she told me to leave. Perry claimed that it was a joke and that I should let it go. Damn, I'm sorry, my dear. He shouldn't have done that, but is that a reason for you to end your marriage, sis? I could have probably gotten over it and ruled that his boss was eccentric and I was not used to her humor. But then I realized that I left my gas card with my husband, so I decided to go for it. Someone told me that he might be in his office, so I went there only to get the show of my life. Oh no, tell me what was happening. He was busy kissing that boss of his. I knew there was something off with her. She was just too crude and casual with him. Tell me you knocked her out. You know, I don't believe in violence, no matter what. No, I took pictures and the videos of them. They were so engrossed in their disgusting act, and they didn't even see me that I was there. You cut them well. What are you gonna do with the pictures? I'll do them a favor and make them famous. I don't have to fight with a crude woman. I know that I would lose, so I can destroy her in any way that I want. Now I understand why she was friendly with the other wives, but not with me. Here I was thinking that there was something wrong with me. Did you not notice he was cheating on you? No, he kept his routine. And you know me, I try to be trusting as possible. In the past, I was insecure and that cost me relationships. I'm proud of the way that you handled it. Do you need to come to my house if you cannot handle being in the same house as him? No, it's fine. I'm going to act completely normal. I know I have to release these pictures as the worst time possible for all of them. Wow, you are diabolical. I should call you next time someone messes with me. Here I was, thinking that I was a feistier sister. Frankly, I'm done with being treated like I don't matter. All my life, I've struggled with relationships. Then he came along and made me believe that I could be loved. Here I was thinking that finally I could stop searching. I married him, made vows for him, and this is how he treats me? I don't think that I have a heart after this. Oh, come on, don't say that, sis. You just made a bad choice when it came to him. He was so good at hiding it, but now you know, and the ball is in your court. You're right. Now it's time for me to kill two birds with one stone. A couple of days later, Eileen and Gemma. 
Who was it you? Who is this now? <laughs> don't you dare act like you don't know me. You have disappeared, so it means that you're the one who did this to us. Oh, you're talking about the pictures of you having an affair with my husband that are now circulating the whole town? Yes, it's me. Today was the AGM. I'm in big trouble now because of you. I didn't tell you to sleep with my husband. You decide to do that. When I find you, I'm going to make you pay. You will not find me. How did you even get those pictures? When you humiliated me in front of everyone, I ended up coming back because you had something of mine. That was when I stumbled upon your little rendezvous. I thought that everyone deserved to know what was going on in the company, considering the fact that both of you were up for promotion. I have worked so hard to get where I am. I am not gonna let a woman with six toes take this away from me. At least now you know that you're truly unlovable. Mystery solved. You couldn't even stay married for longer than a year. He told you private details about me? Yes, he told me everything about you. All of your insecurities as well. Wow. Then he truly does deserve the embarrassment that he's about to suffer. Not only does he cheat on me, but he embarrasses me to you. Ugh. You can keep him if you want, because I deserve better. I'm clearly the best since you couldn't satisfy him. Well, now the whole world knows how you satisfy him. Oops, I forgot to send the last picture to your dad. Is he not a reverend? You wouldn't dare to do that. Oh, but I will. You're not even sorry for what you did. You're so proud of yourself. Don't bother looking for me. You will not be able to find me. If I get fired from this company, I'll make sure that you pay. I dare you. A couple of hours later, Eileen and Perry. How dare you empty out our savings? Are you mad? You should have told me what you found out and I would have explained everything to you. I do not care about that woman. I was doing everything for you. Explain. I would love to hear your excuse for this one. The truth is, is that I, I wasn't making as much money as I wanted, and I wanted to do things for you so you would live a luxurious life. So I figured I needed to get a promotion. When I tried to get one the right way, I just couldn't. She then made this deal with me. She said that if she got promoted, then I would as well. Do I look like a kid to you? Go on and tell your lies to someone else who cares. Not me. Babe. Come on, you know that I love you. I will stop seeing her, and I'll look for a job elsewhere. <laughs> no, you told her private details about me during your pillow talk, so clearly you don't respect me. No, it's not like that at all. I love and respect you so much more than you could ever know. I cannot believe that you're going to stick to these lies. Honey, I'm telling the truth. You I want to annul our marriage. I don't want anything to do with you. You can't just do that. We've only been married a year. You're really going to let your bad luck win? You're the one with bad luck, not me. And I don't want anything to do with you. I would rather die alone. Okay, fine. Then let me know where you are so that we can finalize the divorce. You will only communicate with me through my lawyer. I don't want to see you. A couple of weeks later. I hope that you're happy. I've lost my job because of you. Oh, I'm happy because I'm no longer married to you. Well, don't think of coming back now to this town ever again. Everyone is laughing at you because you couldn't stay married. You don't tell me where to go and where not to go. I'll come back if I want to. Just watch your back. For Gemma, she's not happy with you. What could she ever do to me? Oh, you don't know her. Uh, better stay where you are if you know what's good for you. A couple of weeks later, Eileen and Morgana. Hey sis, how have you been? It's been too long. Hi, I'm so sorry that I went AWOL for a while. I was just soul searching. Well, while you were soul searching, that crazy woman that your husband had an affair with was trying to harass our family. Oh dear, I hope that you guys didn't get hurt. We just got restraining orders. She's out of town now. She left with your ex. Yet here he was trying to convince me that he didn't love her. Well, I don't care about him anymore. They deserve each other. Yes, you need to move on with your life. Speaking of, I'm now in Paris. Wait, were you not in Greece? Yeah, I was there for a while, getting over my heartbreak, and then I decided to move to a city of love. I got a very good job on this side. You haven't been posting on social media, so I had no idea. Yeah, I've been keeping my location private because something about that woman rubs me the wrong way. I wouldn't want her to hurt me in any way. You are so scared of her. You shouldn't be. 
you should be allowed to live your life the way that you want. Hmm, maybe you're right. A couple of days later. I have news. Yes? I have just found out that those two plan to have an engagement party on your birthday. What the fuck? Why would they do something like that? They're clearly obsessed with me. Why are you still following them on social media anyway? They don't matter. I have a new bow. Oh, really? How long are you planning on keeping this from me? Tell me all about him. His name is Alaric. He's tall, kind, generous, and treats me like a queen. Okay, but be careful. I know that you fall in love very quickly. I know I'll be careful. I really like him though. And I see you going somewhere. I'm so happy for you. A couple of days later, Eileen and Gemma. Happy birthday, Eileen. What do you want? Oh, just want to say that it's a pity that you're not here. You would have loved the decor for my engagement party. I must say that the ornaments that you left at the house have really taken the decor to the next level. I told Perry to give those to my mother. How is Paris at this time of the year? How do you know about Paris? I know where you are at all times. I'll never forget what you did to me. You'll pay for it. If anything happens to me, then you'll be arrested. Honey, come back to town before the end of the year so we settle this. If you don't, then your sister or your mother will have to pay. Got it? Ugh, you're so sick. Threatening my family? Girl, you ruined my reputation and I had to start over. Did you think I was gonna let it go? Fine, I'll see you in a month. Be careful what you wish for. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> you should be trembling. Do you know the kinds of people that I have connections to? Well, I'm gonna face this head on. A few months later, Eileen and Perry. I'm coming back to town. Tell your crazy fiancé. Why don't you tell her yourself? Because I can talk to I want when I want. By the way, I'm not scared of her. If she tries to harm me, she will end up in jail. Okay, if you say so. A couple of hours later. I know that she is the one responsible for my slashed tires. Tell her that I'm not afraid of her. And I want to meet at a neutral location. Okay, she says that she won't play dirty. It'll just be the two of you. Oh, so she wants to fight? Yep, she wants to fight you. After that, you're even. For a person who claims to be a businesswoman, she can be trashy. She also says that whoever wins gets your ring. Oh, the ring you bought me? How do you know that I still have it? I just know how disgustingly sentimental you can be. Just know that I'm not the same Eileen who left months ago. She must be careful. I'll let her know. So, she's gonna send you the location. Later that day. Hey, that was not the deal. Why would you send your sister? And why did you not show up? I had to prepare for a very important meeting. Well, at least she got the ring. I'll speak to her and ask her not to hurt you when she sees you. So this is the kind of woman that you want to spend the rest of your life with? She's exciting and feisty. She gets things done for me. She must leave me alone. Or else you'll regret it. You know what? I'll let her do what she wants with you since you want to have such a smart mouth. A couple of hours later. Eileen and Morgana. She left me with no choice. What has she done now? I thought by giving her the ring she would leave you alone. No. Instead, she followed me and cornered me at the market. Just report it to the cops like we did. She is crazy and a stalker. Yes, but she doesn't know that I have an ace up my sleeve. What do you mean? I mean something that will destroy her. She will never be able to work in this country again. How did you manage to get this information? My trip overseas was not in vain. I didn't run away because I was scared of her. I ran away because I need to find someone who would help me take her down. And you found that person. Yes, I did. All is going to be revealed very soon. Wow, you're a genius. I don't know what you've done this time, but you're a genius. Speaking of, I want you to meet my husband. Wait, you're married? Sorry, I didn't tell you. I didn't want anyone to find out about it till I announced it. You can come to this hotel and have dinner with us. He is such a good man. You will approve of him. The next morning... Hey, are you ready? More ready than I have ever been. I hope that you wore that killer dress I told you to wear. You bet I did. Today, all of this ends. If those two ever dare to cross me again, it would be in the next life.
Tell me about everything once you're done. I'm so ready to know how they reacted. You know that I will fill you in. Okay, let me get going right now. I feel so excited. I hope that I don't mess this up. You have Alaric with you. There is no way they are going to mess this up. You're right. After this, I'm going to make sure the whole world knows that I'm happily married. All those who laughed at me when my marriage failed are going to eat dust. They definitely will. I will speak to you later, sis. Eileen and Gemma. What the fuck? How the hell did you of all people manage to do that? Are you using some sort of spell? No. The CEO is my husband. We got married in Paris a month ago. Does he know that you used him to get rid of me? He knows everything that he has to do with you. Such as the fact for years you sold company secrets a company you used to be hired at. That was how you managed to get yourself and pay your jobs at this company, which belongs to my Alaric. I am failing to understand how you got me fired. This whole time you were in Paris, charming my boss. Do you remember Ennis? How do you know about Ennis? Ennis reached out to me after I leaked your photos. She told me that I had to leave town, otherwise you would use your sketchy connections to teach me a lesson. I know that you had Ennis's legs, broken after she tried to expose you for trading company secrets. So she snitched on me and then he decided to marry Alaric. How did you even know that I had my eye on his company? I found out not long after you were working on there. Wonders of wonders. I found out that I was on the same hotel as Alaric. I charmed him and we fell in love. That was when I started to plot your downfall. Does he know that he's just a tool for you to use? I told him everything once we started to fall for each other. I fall so deeply in love sometimes. I used to think that it was my greatest weakness, but it's not. It became less about the plan and more about protecting this company. All along, he had his eyes on you at the company and you didn't know. So you came back here to expose me and not to fight with me? Yes, plus you threatened my sister. That was a good indication that I had to come back and end this. You are so lucky that I didn't hurt her. I could have. Well, now you're without a job. Alaric is going to make sure that you're blacklisted for trading company information. They have enough evidence for a lawsuit. Damn, I should have covered my tracks better. It doesn't matter. I have connections. I'll get out of this. Oh, we know all about your connections. Like the guy that you had following me. But we paid them even more money to make sure that you didn't get all the information that you needed. This whole time you thought you were several steps ahead, while we were keeping you busy and laying the trap. Gosh, you looked so timid the first time I saw you. How could you pull this off? That is the problem with people like you. You're so quick to judge others based on how they look. I wish you luck. You're probably going to go to jail before it gets to your wedding. You think that you have won, but no one has defeated me before and you will not be the first. A day later, Eileen and Perry. Hey. Uh, you think we could cut a deal? Well, that didn't take long. I'll confess to everything and give you all the information if you arrest her and let me go. Both of you are going to get arrested. If you dare to skip town, you'll become fugitives. You'll be found in just a couple of days and have even longer sentence. Please, please don't do this to me for the sake of what we used to have. You turned our marriage into a mockery for her. You lost all of your principles because of her. After I exposed you, you could have just walked away from her. But no, you stayed. Now that if she's in trouble, you want to leave. You even gave my wedding ring to her. You have to understand that I was under her spell. She has something about her that just makes me unable to think properly. I wasn't in the right mind when I helped her out, at all. I didn't realize that I made a mistake letting you go, and now you're married to that rich guy. I know that he'll never love you the way I do. His money is nothing. Wow, is that jealousy that I hear? You're just jealous because the fact that I have a rich husband? So you thought that after you left me, I was going to become a nun and not have a relationship with anyone else? You thought that just because I had bad luck with my past relationships. I would never find someone loyal. Well, I did. But uh, you got married so soon. That is coming from the man who's engaged. Your double standards shocks me to the core, I must say. Please, allow me to have a meeting with Alaric. How the mighty have fallen. Now you want to beg my husband for mercy. Okay, I will allow you to meet with him. But know that he knows everything you did, and he hates you. Thank you so much for giving me a chance. Don't thank me. 
What I did is not going to help you in any way, but you tried. A day later. You married a hooligan. Did he beat you up? No, he threatened me. He said he doesn't want to see me near you again. I told you that he has nothing to say to you. So I wasted my time talking to him? I told you so. God, I'm screwed. I, I can't go to jail because I, I have to take care of my family. You put yourself into his mess. Just leave me alone like he told you, or you'll regret it. A couple of days later, Eileen and Morgana. Dude, she has just gotten arrested. As she should have been, the police have been taking so long to arrest her. But that is not all. It's all over social media. What is it? I haven't been checking social media lately. Hub and I have been off the grid. You probably haven't seen it because you're back in Paris, so... Basically, when they got the apartment, they found her and Perry. But he was unconscious. What did she do to him? She poisoned him and she was about to poison herself. Damn, is that not a bit too extreme? She left a note saying that she would rather be dead than in jail. She also said that Perry was a snitch, so he didn't deserve to live. So, I guess he went ahead with trying to cut a deal with the cops. Did he survive the poisoning? For now, he's in hospital, in critical condition. Either way, whatever happens, she's going to be charged. She has dug herself into an even bigger hole than she was in initially. Tell me about it. The entire town is buzzing with the news. I guess there's no way that they are going to get married now. Speaking of, can you imagine that just a few days ago his mother and his sister called me? They were harassing me and saying that it was my fault that he was in this mess. They have never taken your side. Harry always messes up and they don't let him take accountability for his actions. Look at how they spread rumors about you when he was the one who cheated. Let them say even one more word about you. Trust me, I have the time to sue them to kingdom come. They should get hobbies instead of wasting their time talking badly about me. You got that right. A couple of hours later. Looks like your enemy is going to also have a murder added to her charges. At this rate, she's never gonna get out of prison. You're telling me that Perry is no more? Yup, and she used rat poison on him as well. Damn, that is painful. I don't even know what to say. He will not even see the inside of a prison cell. Nope, this time he will not. I still cannot believe that he's gone. Is it bad that I cried when I heard it? You're only human. It's natural. Eileen and Perry. I know that you will not get this. A lot of things happen between us. I just wanted to say goodbye. I will not be attending your funeral as that would be disrespectful to my current husband. Rest in peace, Perry. Oh, now you want to talk to him when he's gone? Who the hell is this? His sister, Mary. How dare you send my brother a message after he got killed cause of you? No way you're going to blame me for his death. You guys are the ones who allowed that woman to stay in his life? You guys supported the engagement less than a year after he broke up. You better keep your promise of not coming to the funeral. If we see you there, you will regret it. Trust me, I don't plan on attending the funeral. While I have you here, just wanted to let you know that if you and your mother keep on talking about me, you will be losing your job and your freedom. You do know that I'm married, right? Please do not tell him to get us fired. We will leave you alone from now on. Wonderful. Gemma's crimes were so bad that she got life in prison. So many more crimes came to the light as the cops investigated. I moved to Paris with my husband permanently. And we were still going strong. What would your first reaction be if your partner was cheating? 